So I'm setting up a Raspberry Pi for a Octoprint server and I was having problems connecting up to my Wi-Fi and I found a way to get my Raspberry Pi to connect up to my hidden SSID on my Wi-Fi router. Normally you would go in and edit the WPA supplemental uh, text and you would change this to your SSID of your Wi-Fi and then you'd add in your WPA2 password and I've even tried uh, adding in scan SSID equals one and uh, setting it up this way uncommenting these five lines rebooting and it still would not connect up to the Wi-Fi. Right now I have my Raspberry Pi connected with a, a network cable so that's how I'm uh, puttying into it. I have a Raspberry Pi 3 a model Bravo which has Wi-Fi but to get your Raspberry Pi to connect up to your hidden BSSID you need to go to um, Etsy and then edit your WPA supplicant config then you set your country code which regulates your Wi-Fi standards like US you put US or Great Britain you put Great Britain you can look up your two letter country code on the internet under network you put your SSID as the name of your Wi-Fi access point then you put in your password and you also need to add scanned underscore SSID equals one for the Raspberry Pi to scan for a hidden SSID and connect up to it. But to get your interfaces to work properly with the DHCP, you need to go to CD Etsy network LS and then sudo nano interfaces and add all these in auto LO for the loopback interface auto ETH0 for your NIC um, interface is allowed through DHCP auto WLAN0 interface is allowed through DHCP and this is the file we edited earlier with the access point and your password the WPA supplicant dot config. Press Control O to overwrite. Hit Enter. Press Control X to exit. Type sudo reboot to reboot your Raspberry Pi. And then when it comes back up, you should have a wireless connection to your Wi Fi router. But now, after the reboot, you'll see that uh, my Raspberry Pi now has two IPs. The first one right here is the network, f the, the physical cable and the 144 is the wi wireless. So I can disconnect my network cable now. So this is the wired IP, so I'll change this to the wireless IP save that save the key so just like a Linux machine you need to keep your Raspberry Pi updated you can use sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade upgrade there we go to install the updates I've already done this so it shouldn't need to install anything. You can also use apt-get dist upgrade to install new kernels and new versions of the Raspberry Pi software. And now you can access your Octoprint server wirelessly without needing to run a network cable to your 3D printer or your CNC machine. And this is how you get your Wi-Fi interface working on a Raspberry Pi using Octoprint.